Hello Reverse Packing Enthusiasts and welcome back to Retro Game Unboxing. This week we have got a real treat. One of my favourite games from the mid 90s to early 2000s. This is a really really cool classic. But first of all let's get on with the unboxing part of the video because that's kind of what we're here for. So yep this one has just arrived from eBay. I've removed the uh, brown paper packaging because it had my name and address on it and I don't trust you guys as far as I can throw you. So, let's cut this sellotape off and see what we've got in this rather stained, greasy box. Looks like it used to hold chips, which is kind of worrying. But, okay, yep. Okay, we've got the classic brown paper. So, yay, at least they're trying to save the environment, which is a nice thing. And, oh, hang on. No, it's just the usual whatever they had lying around because we've also got the crappy, not bubble wrap, bubble wrap. And here we are, perfect dark for the Nintendo 64. Apparently this is a very, very good, clean, uh, non-damaged box with a proper game in it. So, fingers crossed it is. I mean, it looks nice. There's no fox on the edges. I can see a couple of corners sticking out slightly on the edges. But other than that, the cardboard's black. There's no white scuffing marks. Look at that. The back is absolutely pristine. Sides are maybe a tiny bit folded, but he did say that the corners were a little bit uh, split. And yeah, if you get cardboard, um, any length of time will eventually split into its different layers. But yeah, this isn't too much of a problem. And just a bit of PVA, we can actually get that sorted out later. I love the way you've got a chart there at the bottom that shows you how much of the game you can play without the expansion pack. And yes, this is an 18. Not many of those on the N64. This, Resident Evil um, 2 and 3. And um, of course, Conquer's Bad Fur Day was an 18. But uh, yeah, this is one of the few which was on there. I think Doom also was uh, 18. But yeah, yeah, this corner definitely needs to be glued. But yeah, I can get around to that later on. Bit of paint, bit of glue, that just sort it out. The actual box itself is beautifully pristine. Yeah, the other corner's got it as well. Right, okay, bit of fixing, but look at that front cover. There is not a blemish on that. I'm very happy with it. Perfect Dark by Rareware. Oh, when Rare were fantastic and good. I miss those days. This, Golden Eye, Donkey Kong. Ugh, wondrous. And here we are. What else have we got in here? Uh, before we get on to the game, we have got... Oh, the warranty, usual legal leads, nonsense. Many different languages telling you basically do not uh, uh, sit to get water, do not set it on fire, do not hit it with a hammer, etc, etc. But, let's have a look. Have we got the manual? We do. Put the box aside for safekeeping. And yeah, look at that. Lovely manual. Not full colour inside though, unfortunately. I remember this being a lot nicer. I don't know why. Let's pan back a bit so I can actually see it. But yeah, I remember this manual being a lot nicer. This is not particularly good quality paper. It feels a bit newspapery, in fact. And yeah, it's all black and white inside. And about a tenth of it is in English. The rest of all the other European languages it's in. And look, it's got Dolby surround sound. Wow. I'm not even sure how the hell you test that out. As far as I can work out, the uh, I've got a SCART lead that comes at the back of mine, so uh, I might have to try and work it out if I get Dolby out of uh, out of the N64. That might be worth another video. But we'll look at it another another time. But yeah, look here we go. This sort of thing that you can do. You can play multiplayer without the uh, expansion pack. Other than that, yeah, if you want to play the full solo campaign, you need to have the expansion pack. And other stuff here, just. Uh, Single player options, multiplayer options, and then we go into uh, other languages. What's this? Oh, yep. Yeah. People you can play in the multiplayer. Personnel. Anything else? Club Nintendo. Blah, blah, blah. No space for notes in the back. Damn you, rare. You should always have space for notes in the back. I might want to write down codes, etc. But we do have what looks like a guarantee you can fill in the back. And if you want to cut your manual up and send it off, you can. I think it's a bit late for mine, though. So, yeah, we have got the main event now. Perfect dark. And yeah, look, that is a pristine, lovely, clean, un-yellowed, untorn. 
It's lovely. That's a really, really good cartridge. And yeah, thanks to the guy who I basically bought myself on eBay, he said it was uh, in great condition and he did not lie. Even the white bit of cardboard there looks clean, nice and tidy. Right, okay, let's put this all back together. And then we can go on with uh, getting it nicely boxed up to help it last a bit longer. Because, yeah, if you leave these boxes out for too long, the sun hits them or you're not stepping them on them or, or they, they just get old and faded. So, yeah, stick them inside a UV um, protected plastic case. And, yeah, that should be absolutely great. Now, I use these plastic uh, cases, which I found on Amazon. Other ones are available, but these guys, um, the cases are clean, neat, and they have a nice film over them. So basically, you can make them first and then peel off the uh, protective layer to stop yourself getting fingers or fingerprints all over them. And yeah, it stops them getting scratched in the packaging. Okay, so let's bend these back into place and then we'll box it up. <laughs> Right, with that built and folded, we can put the ends in and then we can get the box nicely tucked away in here. And uh, I've left the cartridge out because I will put the cartridge with my other cartridges so I can play them when I want to. And just leave the uh, outer packaging in here where it keeps it nice and safe and secure. Just make sure I've got the right way around with the, uh, the little edge tucks at the bottom, not at the front, so that it doesn't... Uh, so you can't see them from the front and they're hidden at the back of the box because it always looks nicer to display them that way put the little tab in there we go and finally tab either side here in goes the tab and there we go a lovely protected perfect dark box and yeah that looks absolutely great in there so yeah happily Reboxed, packaged and protected for the ages. And yeah, that can sit on my shelf and I'll keep the cartridge safe and to the side. Thanks so much for watching Retro Game Unboxing. Bit of a short one today, but uh, I love this game and I'm very, very happy that it's in my collection.